I'm seeing a lady there. 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 You, who's looking back? Yes. You, yes. I'm married something like Ruth. Who's Ruth? That's my name. Huh? That's my name. Come here. I want to tell you something. I saw a child. Yes. Huh? Yes. But I'm seeing something also like... What is this? Do you know... Do you know anyone? I don't know. I'm seeing like Mgo. What is this? Mgomezulu. Mgomezulu. Huh? Yes. That's do you know Mgomezulu? Yes, I do. Huh? It was my ex-husband. I want to pray for you. Yes. Because you're in, people in your family now, they are laughing at you. Yes, that's true. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because I'm just seeing Gomezu. He's having a color like mine. Yes, yes. Huh? <laughs> yes, yes. It's dark in color. Yes, dark in color. But I'm also seeing a child like this, taller. Huh? Yes, taller than you. That's my boy. Taller than you. Yes, it's my son. I want to pray for you that whoever that is laughing at you, because after this breakup, yes, you know there are people of the family that are laughing at you. Yes, I know. You are aware of that. Yes, I know. So I want to pray for you that God must help you. Are you hearing me? Amen. So, but I'm surprised. I don't know. Ash, okay. You are saying what? Slow in. Slow in. You speak Shangan. Huh? Open Bulla Blind Way. Huh? What's I got to go to Bulla Blind? Huh? What's I got to go to Bulla Blind? I thought you speak Pale. Huh? You speak Shangan. Huh? So you are saying what? Won't congel it. Huh? Who's congel it? Why is congel it? Who are you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> hmm? <clears throat> so you're the one who destroyed the marriage? Yeah. Why? She can buy two more. She can buy a big house. She can buy a BM. She can buy a big house. She can buy a big house. She can buy a big house. And you destroyed the marriage? Yeah, she can buy a big house. 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 Hmm. So, are you happy now that they're divorced? Yes, she's happy. I'm not sure how much I'm going to take you. Huh? I'm not sure how much I'm going to take you. I'm not sure how much I'm going to take you. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how much I'm going to take you. Come on! She's free. That's a... Okay, my name is Ruth Nukeri. I come from, um, I'm staying in Avrin Jobek, but I come from Limpomp. Um, uh, the prophecy that I received today is true. I was indeed married um, two years ago to a man called, uh, what is the name of Mugomezul. So everything that the prophet has said, it's, it's true. And the prophet has also spoke about a family laughing at you since how you were separated with the man that you were married to. Is it true? Yes, that's true. Um, um, they've been talking. Um, that I've been um, um, staying, driving nice cars and staying in a house, a beautiful house. Um, it ended, now I'm suffering. So I know, I'm aware of that, that uh, they are laughing at me and talking behind my back. How did it affect you? It, it really affected me very much because um, it was a marriage that I thought that um, would be separated by death. So. Um, when we separated, so it affected me and my son a lot, and my, my family. But how are you feeling today as the man of God spoke to you? By the grace of God today, like, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. Because um, I believe that, because through God, he supported me, and I am delivered, so I am fine. Yeah. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Yes, glory to him, my man. There's a family that you need to pray for. Stand up. I'm hearing some. Do you know anyone who's uh, senior of Rakoma? 
Rakoma. Mm. I have a friend. You had a friend? Yeah. Huh? Yes. I want you to pray for them. Eh? Are you hearing me? Yes. Because, you know, um, number two, we need to pray for your little sister. Yes, my sister. Who oh, looks exactly like you. Yes. It's like your twins. Yes. Huh? We look but it's alike. like she's a bit taller. Huh? Very true. So I want you to pray for this family because when I look at you, I had Rakoma. And I heard that you must pray for these people. Okay. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes, my Lord. So I'll pray for you. So this is your job from today. I will pray for them. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Pray for them. But I'm, I'm also seeing what, what, what is this? Wotale. 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 My sister's child. I'm huh? staying. My sister's child. I'm staying with her. Huh? I'm staying with the with the child. She's it's my a small child. Yeah, she's my sister's child. Wutali. Yes. So God say I must tell you that Ota, you, she will be Wutali indeed. Amen. Are you hearing me? Thank you. So go and pray for this family. Okay, my name is Pastor Dumi Madhuani. I am from Pulukwane. Uh, what the man of God said is true. I know the family of Rakoma. I have a friend in that family, and then he said that I must pray for them. And then again, he said that I have a sister who looks exactly like me. It's very true. I have that sister. And then a little child, Botlali. She's my sister's child. Um, I've been raising that child from birth. And then I've given the name Buthali to her. And I'm so glad that the man of God said that that baby will become Buthali indeed. I'm very, very glad. And how are you feeling as today you were located? I'm so glad. I'm so glad and I have a task to do. Like, yes, I have a task to do. I'm, I'm very glad. As I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you today, words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there. I will encourage them like do not give up on God. Keep on praying. Just go to the living church near to you and God will bless you. Listen, don't worry. Are you hearing me? Don't worry about what the devil has been trying to do in your life. Yes. Because sometimes you are becoming too much discouraged. It's true. Are you hearing me? It's true. So I'll pray for you. This go there's a job. Amen. That's a job that God will give you. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. Huh? Amen. There's a job that God will give you to feed these children. Amen. Because sometimes you are crying for these children. Amen. It, are they true? It's true. Two children. It's true. So God will give you a job to wipe away your tears. Amen. You demon! Lift him up. I said, God will give you a job to wipe away all your tears. Come out! Come out, you demon! Uh, my name is Albert Silavani, and I stay in Tembisa. What the prophet has said uh, towards my life is true. Why are you saying it's true? Um, what is happening? I've been searching for a job. Uh, it's almost, uh, I could say, two to three years now. 
and then what is happening I've been trying to take care of my children the salary that I'm getting is not enough so that I can able to take care of my children as you know as you know that deep within your heart you want to take care of your children and you are not able to do that how did it affect you uh, it affected me spiritually because what is happening is uh, the prayer, the way that I used to pray, what is happening since I'm affected, I'm not praying that much and then what is happening, I was not reading the Bible that much. And today by the grace of God you were located, were you, <laughs> were you expecting that today they will pray for you or prophesy you? I didn't expect it, so it shows that the grace of the Lord was upon my life. How are you feeling? I am feeling well now. And I know that everything, what the man of God has said to what my life is going to come to pass. Words of encouragement that you can give to other men out there who have lost hope, who believe that, you know what, things are not working for me even though I'm holding on unto God. As today God has remembered you, what can you say to the viewers out there? Uh, what I can say to the viewers out there is that uh, do not lose hope, keep on praying and hope in God. I believe that something good will happen to their lives. Mama, I saw... I saw you trying to do a business. Huh? Hey. I'm seeing you even in Lesotho. Huh? Hey. Come. Jesu, Jesu, Kiena. Jesu, Kiena. Jesu, Jesu, Kiena. Jesu, Kiena, Wamatombo. Kiena, Wamafelelu, Kia, Falio, Beka. Mama, I saw you trying to do many businesses failing. Trying to sell phones. Did you try to sell phones? Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing failure. I'm seeing trying to. Is it Texas? Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing Texas. The devil is fighting you. Mm. I want to tell you that today God will restore you. Amen. 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 Are you hearing me? Thank you, Jesus. I want to tell you God will do what? God will restore you today. Amen. I know what is happening with you. Right now, the devil is even trying to attack your health. So don't worry. From here, your life will take another turn. Amen. Amen. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'll pray for you. Don't, you don't need to give up in these issues of business. Amen. Because I saw you trying to sell phones, cell phones, problems. Taxi problems. There's a solution. Come out, you demon. Come out. Come out, you demon. What are you doing here? Hmm? You are doing what? Huh? You snake. You snake. Huh? You are doing what? You snake. snake in Jesus name if it's like I can you see kitchen most of our town men of God to open the line to try to pull your business Kiwe kijaraji taxi, kile 
So, can you tell How did it affect you? It affected me. I was very happy that today I was very happy to be able to do it. How are you? How are you? How are you? Where is your boyfriend? Is that home? Yeah? Is that home? Is he not from Pumalang? We broke up. Jesu, Jesu, Kiena. Jesu, Kiena, Wama, Tomo. Kiena, Wama, Fele, Lugia, Fa. Was he not this side of Mpumalanga? Yeah, he was uh, in Pumalanga, second. I want to pray for you. This demon must leave you. Amen. Oh, you know me? Amen. You don't want him back. Come again? You don't want him back. I, I'm not sure. I'm confused. So you don't want this lady to marry? Huh? 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 You are saying what? You are saying mm. she will never get married. She will never get married. No, ever. So why I, I was calling her there. You're the one who made her to sit down. Huh? Why say? Mm -mm. No. Huh? No. <coughs> Huh? No, we blocked her with everything because she said she don't want to get married again. So that is why we managed to block her. That's why you managed to block her. Yes. Who are you? Uh, huh? What made Who are you? Her auntie. Huh? Her auntie. Your what? Her auntie. Your last day here. Uh, oh, you hear me? It's a queen. So are you? It's a queen. Why did you destroy this relationship? No. Uh, why destroy it? Nah, eh. No one alone. No man. No man. Huh? No man. No man. No guy. You sell it. Ah, you sell. Yo, she doesn't want to listen to us. We want her to be like us. We are not married. We are not educated. Why she is forcing herself? Hey, why she is forcing herself? So it's jealousy you now. Yes. So leave her. Leave. Uh, my name is Ranzunguna. I'm from uh, Guyane, but I'm staying in Pretoria at the moment. Uh, the prophecy that I received today is true because I've been struggling a lot, especially when it comes to relationships. I've been married once and then I've been also uh, trying to study, but it's like um, experiencing difficulties. So the prophecy is totally true. How did it affect you? It affects me emotionally. Um, sometimes I feel like giving up. Even today when I came here, I told myself that I need a deliverance, even if I have to go home uh, late. But at least if I did get deliverance. So God answered my prayer when I leave home. How are you feeling as you were located today? Uh, I was I was not surprised because that uh, that was my prayer and then at least my prayer uh, it did come to pass. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I'm very much happy and amen. There's a brother there who's trying to do farming there. There. Farming, farming. He's trying to do things of farming. There is. I want to pray for you. Okay, man of God. Oh, you hear me? Yes, man of God. So that, you know, what you're planning to do, it must be successful. 
Amen. Because you're struggling, eh? Amen. So, you want to do what? You want to do farming? Yes, I want to farm men of God. Huh? Yes. But things are difficult, eh? Yes, currently they are retrenching people at my company. And they actually wanted to give me another position that I don't want. So I've been applying for a job. Don't worry. From here, I'll pray for you. God will fight for you. Oh, you me? Amen. God will fight for you. And there's also marriage that is coming. Amen. There's also marriage that God is bringing in your life. Amen. Because there's this lady who wears, who wears glasses. Know, glasses. Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. So, but your relationship is going up and down. Yes. Huh? Because she lives in Bloemfontein and I'm in Pretoria. Sometimes it's like you're confused yourself whether, you know, you're taking the right decision or not. Amen. That's so, true. So you don't need to worry. Today, God will fight for you. Amen. Can I pray for you? Yes, man of God. you demon stand up touch here there are people who try to feed you in the night huh that's true. there are people that are feeding you every night that's true come out you demon and it's it's making your stomach to be somehow yes huh? it, Pain sometimes. Pains. Yes. And I'm seeing you going to the toilet. Sometimes you struggle. Yes. Huh? That's true. That's true. Come on, leave the stomach. You demon. You're free. My name is Kei Tumela Habunewi. I'm from the Northwest. Uh, I actually work for a farming company currently. But now um, they are retrenching people from my office and they actually want to shift me to an education position, which is not something I'm interested in. Um, so I've been praying to God, fasting that it should not happen to me. And I also want to farm on my own outside of the company. But because of the laws from the company, I am unable to go ahead. So. And also the prophet has spoken about your relationship. Yes, I'm currently seeing a lady from Free State. And yes, she wears glasses. Her name is Rea Bezwe, And we are in a long distance relationship. And it's my prayer to marry her. And how did all these things affect you? They've affected me, I guess, spiritually because I've been struggling a bit. And I couldn't pray much because it was tough for me. Yeah. But how are you feeling today as the man of God has spoken unto your life? I feel very light. I feel relieved. And I really want to thank God because even now I'm in fasting. So I've been praying that um, God must speak to me about this whole challenges. Amen. We believe that today as the prophet has located you, you are free, you are delivered, and you shall surely come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. I believe 100% that when I come back, I'll come back with a testimony because everything that the prophet has said to me, it's true.